All right, folks, uh, I'm back. We have more Lego to take a look at. This is the Mona Lisa set, which has been rumored for a while. Uh, looks like it's going to retail for $100 in the US with 1,500 and three pieces. Comes out, uh, looks like October 1st, 2024. Sorry, that cuts off a little bit there. Um, this one's been rumored for a while. We've heard that this might be coming out and taking a look at it, uh, uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this because that face, um, it's not looking right to me. It's really not. Everything else, if we're if we're Legoifying the Mona Lisa, everything else honestly looks incredible. The background, that looks incredible. I love that they went with kind of a geometric style. I think that works. It really does work, especially because the Mona Lisa is so, um, it's so, I don't want to say detailed, but it's not geometric and Lego naturally is geometric. It, they're, they're bricks, they're pieces. So you have to choose a certain style for this. The background looks fantastic. I love the way the pieces fit together. Sky looks good. I think the body of the Mona Lisa even looks good. I love the way that they did the hands. I think that works. It's that face. It's that face, man. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's the shaping. I don't know if it's just that the geometric style doesn't work with it. I think there that there had to have been another, uh, a better way to do that. I don't know. I, it just doesn't look like the thing to me. Maybe it's the forehead. Maybe it's the fact that the eyes look so realistic while the rest of it just doesn't. There's something, something very off there. Everything else looks fantastic to me, though. The frame, especially. My gosh, the frame looks awesome. Those gold lacquered pieces, I don't know if we've ever gotten so many of them in one Lego set. I mean, this might be worth getting alone just for that, but man, that face, that face. If we look at it here, I think even on the box, like the face just stands out. There's something off about that. Everything else looks really good. Um, the box art, I mean, looks fine. We, we pretty much have already seen that there. We'll talk about value here in a second. Here's kind of a different point of view that, that, that allows you to see how 3D this thing is. Sorry for the, the stuttering there. It really does pop out. I mean, look at the hands, look at the way that they pop out. Um, the face kind of pops out at you. It's just a little creepy. It feels a little cursed to me, that face. I don't know. I hope we get a closer look at those eyes. Um, this doesn't really give us much here. Just the, the back of the box. Yeah, here, here it is in person. I mean, there's just really no pictures to me that, that do that face justice. I don't, I don't know. The rest of it, I really do love the rest of it. I just wish that face, I wish it, I wish the face looked good. I really do. From a distance, it still doesn't look good to me. The face still looks off. Um, I, almost, I almost feel like it would have been better to just take away the eyes, the nose, and the mouth and just leave it blank. I feel like that honestly would look better. And, and you could probably do that with some easy adjustments and I might consider that. Yeah, here's a closer look at the face. So the eyes are printed. It looks like the mouth might be a printed piece too, which I almost feel like they could have found a way to do that without printing it. I think that that's part of the reason for this thing feeling so cursed though, is that the eyes are printed and they look realistic while the rest of it is in this geometric kind of style. Um, yeah, yeah, that's weird. It's weird. It's weird that the face is like lopsided too. Like one of these eyes is smaller, the other one's bigger. And in a painting that might work. You know, because it shows perspective. It shows that part of her face is closer. I don't think it works here. I don't think they're pulling off exactly what they would have liked to. It just makes her face look generally uh, just lopsided. Um, yeah, everything here though is good. Lots of cool gold pieces. I think the hands are done well. I think that's just fine by me. Let's see if they've got one of those good old lifestyle videos for us to take a look at here. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look good on the wall to me. Cool, cool QR code, probably with a soundtrack or something putting the thing together. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, that frame is actually pretty thick and it's interesting. Yeah, you pop it in so you can take the frame off too, is what it seems. Now, what's interesting, um, so if, you, if you're able to pop in that frame and you're able to remove the frame as they have shown us, you, I wonder where the possibilities lie with, um, with, with taking a different art set, maybe one of the same dimensions or making a, cu a custom pa painting and inserting it into this frame. That's kind of interesting. They could, if, if they did things right, they could probably develop some sort of a modular uh, style for these art sets. Um, but I don't know how many paintings they're gonna be able to do that are in the same dimensions as the Mona Lisa. So that might just be a, a moot point. Um, yeah, I mean, the face. The face just doesn't work for me. Everything else works for me. It's that face. Honestly, I might consider getting this just because the value is crazy good. I have no complaints about the value. I think it's perfect. I think it's just fine. 1,503 pieces for $100, taking into account all of those gold pieces. Oh my gosh, great value, great value. It's that face, it's that face for me. 
Um, I think it would have been better to just leave the face blank, but then there might have been complaints there. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this one. Do you think it's as, it's as, a, as cursed as I think it is? Maybe you like it. Just let me know. Let me know. If you liked this video, if you liked my little analysis, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe as well. I do appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.